In this class, we are going to learn how to install Groovy on your Windows computer. While working with Oracle Fusion Cloud or any other cloud platforms, you might come across a scenario wherein you would be needing to write a custom logic with the help of Groovy function. Now the question is, how I will write the functions locally, test, debug and then copy and paste the same code in the cloud so that it will work and solve the business problem. And the first step towards this is installing the Groovy on your computer locally so that you can write the Groovy script locally with the VS code or any of your favorite IDEs. So in order to install the Groovy on your Windows computer, first you have to just search Groovy download using any search engines. For demonstration purpose, we are making use of Google over here. So the first link, if you see over here, that is https colon slash slash groovy dot apache dot org download. So you have to click on this. So once you click on this, you will be landed straight into the Apache Groovy download page. Suppose if you are not automatically navigated to this page or to the learn or documentation, just click on these downloads over here. You will be navigated over to this download page. If you just scroll down, Groovy 5.0 is the latest version of Groovy available at the time of recording this class. So here are multiple other versions also. So it says, if you want to make use of Groovy 5.0, you have to have JDK 11 plus. Suppose if you are using JDK 8 on your computer, then 4.0 you can download. So if you just scroll down here, it will tell what is the minimum JDK required in order to run the Groovy versions. So at the time of recording, 5.0 is in alpha state and it is not stable. So we will install the stable one. Just we have to make sure we are having the JDK or the JVM which is of this version that is 1.8. Then only we will be able to install this one 4.0. We are going to install this stable version and the requirement is we should have the JDK 1.8. Let's see what is the JDK version we are having on our computer. I will tell Java and the version. I'm having the GDK 1.8 already installed on my computer. I will minimize. Suppose if you don't have a Java installed on your computer, you have to download the GDK from Oracle website or from the open GDK. You can refer the sources from their respective vendors how to install the Java on your computer. I will click on Windows installer that is under Groovy 4.0. Click on this. And it will route me to this page. I will click on .msi file. So it will be downloading the .msi file on my computer. So we'll pause this class until this file completely downloads on our computer. .msi file has been successfully downloaded. Let me just double click on this. So you will get a Groovy setup installer dialog. Something like this. Click on next. You have to agree the agreement over here. You can go through the terms and conditions. Suppose you agree with their terms and conditions. Just check mark this. I agree. Then click on next. And I will select complete over here. And click on install. If you are getting a pop up from your Windows computer, just click on S. And it will continue installing. Suppose if you are not the admin for your computer, then you have to contact the administrator so that they can install this software on your computer. Otherwise, you won't be able to install on your Windows Pro operating systems. So the Groovy has been installed successfully. Let me click on finish. Let me relaunch this command prompt. And I will tell over here Groovy minus version. It tells Groovy version is 4.0. 0.25. Let's verify what was the version we downloaded. It was 4.0.25. So this message you will get. Just make sure you go for the complete Groovy installation. Not for typical or custom. So let's verify this by running a small hello world function in our VS code. I have opened the VS code. Let me just create one file. I will tell hello world.groovy. You have to save with .groovy extension. Here I will write class example, open the brackets, I will tell static void main and the string ARGS. So I think bracket is open here. Let me just correct it. Let me open the function or the method. I will tell print ln and the 
hello world you can add the semicolon or you can completely avoid as well save let me just right click over here open in integrated terminal and here i will type groovy hello world and click on enter so you'll get the message saying hello world so this is how you can install the groovy on your windows operating system and you can verify with the help of command prompt that what is the version got installed just make sure it should be running on the compatible jdk suppose if you don't have the java installed that is compatible version just make sure you install the appropriate version for our case it was 4.0.25 groovy version was expecting 1.8 jdk so we had already in our computer then using the VS code, you can just create a file dot groovy and then you can write one simple hello world function. Then you can run this with the command groovy space and then followed by the file name enter and it will print the hello world message. So like this, we can install groovy on our Windows operating system.